I'm taking my entire net worth and gambling it in Las Vegas. We started here, and now we're like a hop and a skip away from hell. We got some work to do. To recap, we traveled for too many hours, won $600, crashed at Matt's place, new day, new objectives. Today's a really big day, actually. Moment of truth. Let's see how hard we get shafted. Eighteen dollars. Suck my dick. Yeah, yeah, what up? I got invited to play poker at a guy's mansion. The lineup is filled, but I am the first alternate, and someone's leaving. We might have a seat in a six max poker game. I love shorthanded poker. Deep cash game, shorthanded, in Vegas in a mansion. Check it off all the fucking boxes here. Let's go! Today was true meathead day. We just crushed fives and tries. A little bit of shoulder action. The one thing that sucks about this place, the staple head of Planet Fitness is an old naked dude with his dick flopping in the locker room. Doesn't matter where you go. You're just getting a great workout in. You're dazed. Then you walk into the locker room. Whoa! Put a towel on, Jesus Christ. You can't even avoid it either. You don't You don't even mean to look. Trust me, you do not want to see that. It's not a picture that you're trying to paint at all. My friend Anthony also flew to Las Vegas for this event. I went to go pick him up and check out his Airbnb. Kinda got a nice city view. This thing looks homeless. Whoa, never mind. This is kinda sick. Yo. Holy shit. Oh my god. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, dude. Keeping up with the fucking videos. Yo! What? Dude, can we? Let's throw a party here. If I knew people out here. Everyone get fucking Tinder now. Start swiping, boys. I'm staying here. It's a pretty penny, but I don't care. Now we have a place to stay. Oh, we're here for the stream game. Look how nice this place is. My net worth is less than this garden. Hunter, I thought that guy was pissing out of his dick at first glance. That'd be all brand. Be a power move. Appreciate you. Yeah, show me the booth real quick. This is where the commentators for the live stream sit. I get a lot of comments saying, Corey, you should commentate. Well, I got the opportunity to commentate for a few minutes. And here's why that's a horrible idea. Here's the cumulative winnings. So we have Casino King <laughs> down half a car. Cairo has the other half. We got Casino King just leasing a Buick to Cairo. <laughs> I swear, I think you're his good luck. I might just be, you got a 12 year old with his take your kid to work day in the background. I show up and that one's a bot. <laughs> Bro, where have you been? Yes, yes, yes. Find out one thing, this hand's not hitting the muck. And you can tell I absolutely know fuck all about poker. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to be on my best behavior. <laughs> oh, shut <sorry. laughs> You're gonna take it out of me, I promise. <laughs> Look at that camera angle. Look at these guys. Wow, they're famous. Oh, wow, God. 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 I look clueless. I'm like, these guys are sick with my bankroll. What am I doing here? <laughs> Hands in the pockets. I'm astounded at how much dollar bills and coins are just being flushed around the table. Anthony's calm as shit looking like a mob boss. I'm still just sitting there with my dick in my hand thinking about, is there going to be a seat? I kept <laughs> Remember how I said I was the first alternate, and if someone busted, then I would get a seat? Well, this happened. No! 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 Casino King's in the booth! Is that it? Did Ace steal my seat? You mother. I'll be right back. <laughs> Since Matt busted, there's an open seat. But the issue is, Anthony also wanted to play. How do we determine who gets the seat? Uh, you ready to shoot for it? <laughs> I would be down for uh, Let's do that. This <laughs> out one time. <laughs> huh. 
Oh, wow. I have a shot left. Neither of us have made it, but I'm going to go. Okay. This is my Are you going in? Yeah. Basically, okay. first to me. Which I'm not going to do. You guys want to go in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Wow. Come on. That's good. There you go. All right, all right. So it's my seat. I'm coming into a 5 5 game where the max fine is $1,000. For clarification, bankroll management is very important in poker. You need 50 buy ins to be properly rolled for a cash game. $1,000 times 50, you need $50,000. I have less than three, but I have no fucks to give. So I buy in for a thousand dollars. I'm playing games as big as 1025 for $10,000. I'd argue this one's more important. The difference being, I could afford to lose that money at the time. Now, I really can't. Corey, yeah, if you're coming in, you gotta double strap him. <laughs> Buddy, I'm sitting here with my net worth. I'm not double <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you would. That's, I mean, yeah, you do have to put the chips in the middle. You also have hair on your chest. Within a single orbit, we have Queen Jack offsuit on the button. Nikki opens the twenty dollars. Queen Jack offsuit is a pretty dusty hand. The solver says fold. I make it sixty. Action folds back to Nikki, who makes the call. Now we're going heads up to a flop with a dog piss hand. The flop comes ace high, and we have a gut shot. Those are two excuses. I only need one to start blasting. She checks, I toss out $40. When she calls my bet pre-flop, she'll have a lot of low pairs, pseudo connectors, just a lot of check folds. Unfortunately, she has an ace, as you can see by the graphics, so that's not going to be one of them. She makes the call. Not ideal, as we are twiddling our thumbs with queen high, praying to God to hit our gutter. That doesn't happen, but we do turn an open and straight draw. But as you can see by the graphics in the top right, all of the eights and three of the kings are dead, meaning they're not coming. Either someone else folded them, they're the burn cards, they're just, they're not coming, dude. So unbeknownst to me, we have a 4% chance to win this hand at showdown. But I don't know that, and I also don't care. I have a 100% chance to win this hand if she folds. The only way to make her fold? Put the money in the middle. Nikki doesn't think for more than five seconds before making the call. I'm thinking, oh shit, I'm dead. Or, pray to the poker gods who reward me with the one outer. We, we somehow go runner runner into a straight. Nikki checks, and now we go from bluffing our dick off to betting for value. Nikki thinks about it for a while. She's like, ah, you're so young. I want to call, but this is your net worth. On and on. I'm like, <laughs> I have it. And she's like, oh, okay, I fooled. I'm like, no, don't do that. Then we play a small pot against Seth. I'm a jack. That's no good. You're so mean to me. That's no good. <laughs> I played it the nicest I possibly could. Of course it did. That was so nice. <laughs> Nikki opens, I three bet, everyone folds. The very next hand I'm involved in, we flop a straight. This is like playing NBA 2K with the sliders on 100. We can't miss. Seth places a bet, and I'm like, let's put more money in the middle. Cairo, who flopped top pair, says, oh, fuck. He correctly folds, kudos. But Seth, he has a pair and an open into straight draw. He makes the call. We go out to a turn card, praying for the dealer to keep it clean. No board pair, no ace, no club. I don't want any draws getting there. I think Seth could very easily have ace, king, king, queen, queen, 10, pocket kings, pocket queens, pocket tens. All of these strong hands are gonna have a really hard time folding to clean runouts. The turn card comes about as clean as we could possibly ask for. I reach a little deeper into my piggy bank and fire $250. This sets up around a pot sized jam on the river and it's a price that I don't think any of the aforementioned hands are going to fold to. Unfortunately, Seth has third pair and one of the worst hands that he could possibly have on this turn. So he correctly folds. Really not much we could do there. Dude, we can't complain. We hit a one-outer and flop the joint. We are running like the disciple of Jesus Christ to start the stream.
So far, we're up $425, but you know what they say, what goes up must come down. We looked at A6 of clubs in the big blind. The button opens to $30. I make the call and Cairo comes along as well. Three of us to a flop of 653 rainbow. I check, Cairo bets $5. Anthony immediately raises to 50. A little dicey, but I think he could be doing this with a lot of bluffs. Cairo's $5 bet is really weak, which might induce a lot of raises with air. Even if we're behind, we have a backdoor nut flush draw to bail us out and possibly win a massive pot. For these reasons, I make the call and Cairo comes along as well. So still three of us to a turn card, which <laughs> Cairo is such a luck box. He turns two pair. Once again, I check and Cairo again bets $5. Anthony calls and <laughs> we have enough showdown value. We're getting a great, pr we're getting the best possible price. We have to pay $5 to win 200 something. I'm not bluffing, I'm not folding. I'm just gonna call. Still three ways to a river, which brings in a four liner. And now Cairo bets $10 and Anthony calls. I don't know you can even fold here just in case Anthony has like king six and Cairo has, you know, exactly what he has in maybe like ace three, ace five. <laughs> this is such a stupid hand. I flick in the Subway sandwich money, dude. Cairo wins and we minimize our damage, whatever. We lose a few more small ones to Caitlin and Cairo, but the stream ended shortly after. Like I said, I was an alternate. I only played for an hour. Even though the stream ended, the degeneracy did not. You know the mini hoop that Anthony and I shot on to see who gets the seat? Yo, does anybody want to play for 10 bucks? First to three baskets? Hey, bro, let's just, let's just play for a hundred. First one to make it, you go first. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this face. I'll play for a hundred. First three. Okay, go ahead. Well, $10 just turned into 5% of my net worth. It's all good though. We're gonna cash this shit. <laughs> Nick cashes the first shot and it's like a Fortnite default, Dan. Pressure's on, I need to make this one. Or I'll go f myself, that's cool. Nick goes to take his second shot. I'm like, don't you dare think about making this shit. <laughs> all right, no more dicking around, kid. Come on! Tie game, one, one. That's all. Huge shot. Go zen, meditate, drink coffee, do whatever you need to do. Lock in, kid. Fuck! Whoever makes the next shot is huge favorite. Nick sets his feet. My heart drops. He licks his finger? Don't lick your finger like it's going in. Oh my god! god damn, man! You can't do that. <laughs> Lock in, kid. I just made 130. I played a little. <laughs> this is a better hourly than poker, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking you. Better hourly than poker. That was, that was fun. I thought this was a successful day, but our net worth went down, and we started the next day with a call from the debt collector.